Cool. So I just want to ask you a few questions um, regarding business and Instagram and stuff. So uh, I guess before we get into that, what got you into photography? Obviously, you take a lot of photos, you make videos. What got you into it in the, in the beginning? Yeah, so back in the day, I was bored at home and um, my mom actually has a background in photography and she gave me her camera and was like, why don't you go wander around the garden and take some photos. So I ended up wandering around and taking photos of bugs and random plants in the garden and just fell in love with it. And I started doing that like every single day, pretty much. I became obsessed with it. Nice. And then pretty much from grade seven to grade 12, that's all I would do after school. So mostly photos? Yeah, pretty much mostly photos. But then also during the summers when I would have more time, I would make a short film or something with a couple friends. Yeah. So I learned how to do video at the same time. And then um, in around grade 11, um, I started to get more into portraits and taking photos of my friends. Yeah. And I had this one friend in high school, she was actually a model, and she got me into the fashion industry and introduced me to a lot of the agencies in Vancouver. And so by shooting with her a lot, <coughs> that built up my fashion portfolio a lot yeah. stronger than shooting people that don't necessarily know what they're doing in front of the camera. Or insects. Yeah, or insects. <laughs> and so, so I started to build up a fashion portfolio and I was able to send that to clients in Vancouver. That was in grade 12 and then I graduated grade 12 um, and then took a gap year where for most of that gap year I was shooting portraits and yeah. fashion stuff, editorials, random campaigns. I remember seeing Emmett's Instagram because he's from Vancouver where I'm from and I was like, I've never seen such good portraits before. Like, I need <laughs> to meet him just to learn how he shoots portraits. And Thank then, you. You made a transition eventually into landscapes. Yeah, yeah. So I kind of got tired of the fashion industry because there's a lot of big personalities. And yeah, um, yeah, it's just not quite as creative as I was wanting. It can, definitely can be. I just wasn't taking advantage of that side of it. Mm -hmm. And then so I went backpacking through Mexico for two months and Southeast Asia. Yeah. And then by doing that, I was no longer able to shoot models because there's no models when you're backpacking usually Fair enough. Um, and so I started taking travel landscape photos and more adventure style content and that was definitely a weird shift on my Instagram from being all portraits to all landscape suddenly yeah. um, and I also had no clue really how to take landscape photos or edit them yeah and then after about a year doing that of just making no money and trying to travel for free and go on random road trips from Vancouver. I think we actually went to Banff mm -hmm. one summer. Um, then I slowly started to find my style and figured out how to edit edit a landscape photo a lot better. Yeah, I remember <laughs> the ones from Banff for the uh, Jeep rental company. Yeah. It's like the most vibrant. The like, most saturated <laughs> yeah. photos I've ever taken. Yeah, and they're still good, but then you definitely, <laughs> had, you definitely had no moved idea how from to there edit, yeah. to a certain style that you probably use nowadays as well, right? Yeah, yeah. So. Over the past couple of years, I've been developing my style slowly, and now it's a lot more perfected than it was back then, but it's still very similar. And then obviously, you could, people can tell because you went from like 30 or 40,000 followers to 450, just blew by me, so. <laughs> yeah, I went, yeah, from, so I went from 40K to 100K in probably two months. Yeah. Just because I found my style, and I also did a trip to Peru that was pretty unique. Totally. And I think we we're some of the first to shoot that particular location at sunrise, yeah. Rainbow Mountain. And those photos did really well and went yeah. everywhere pretty much. So that's, then, that helps when you're wanting to gain followers. Maybe we'll shift into that conversation. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of photographers, obviously, Instagram's a great way to make a career nowadays. Like, I wouldn't have a career if it wasn't for Instagram. Um, it really helped start my career, same with Emmett, same with a ton of our friends. So it's yeah. like when uh, you're trying to use Instagram to gain a career, you went to unique, unique locations and shot photos that people really haven't shot before and that yeah, helped yeah. you in the beginning? Well, so I think in the beginning, the most important thing for growth was posting every single day. Yeah, consistency, consistency is key. Consistency is key. I post, I've been posting at the same time every single day for maybe two and a half years. Yeah. Um, and you have to post content that's consistently as good as the last photo you posted so that's really really challenging at first but once you start taking a lot a lot of photos then you start having this bank of photos you can start using yeah but I think there's been kind of a shift where everyone's suddenly becoming a photographer mm -hmm. 
And so no one really stands out anymore because everyone's trying to copy each other. Yeah. So if you're going to stand out at all, you need your own style and you need to be taking unique photos that no one's seen before. Mm -hmm. And I think that's getting harder and harder to do. Um, so some of my friends in this travel space were trying to travel to more and more exotic locations that not many people are going to. Yeah. Um, and I think that's definitely one of the keys for staying unique and growing in this current industry of sure. Instagram. Yeah. Totally, yeah. You go on the Explore page and you see just like <coughs> photo after photo, it's amazing. And you're like, wow, everyone's creating such good stuff nowadays. Yeah. Um, but then you see the amazing photos of exactly the same place over and over definitely. again. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, one last thought. So you said like you have to post photos and they have to become like, the, they can't be worse. You can't go from posting great photos to bad photos. Yeah because you lose momentum yeah. and that kind of thing. Do you feel like that is, I feel like a hot topic is like, oh, Instagram boxes you in because you can only post certain things. Like, what are your thoughts on that in general? I think it's totally, totally possible to get incredible photos in Instagram's little four by five box that they give you. Mm -hmm. I don't think that should be a limitation to you at all. Totally. A lot of times I take the exact same landscape photo as I do in a portrait style and yeah. it doesn't actually, it doesn't actually matter, I don't yeah. think. I think the, biggest thing is just taking photos that you think are unique and not being afraid to post them and have people critique them for the first time instead of going somewhere everyone's been because yeah. you know that photo will do well you have to sure. just try something completely new and see what happens yeah, and people yeah. always kind of com like they have comments like oh like I you have to only post great photos I can't be myself I can't be an artist so it's like there's an argument between kid you want to do this as your like portfolio and like you can do it for fun like that's great but if yeah. you kind of want to make it a career and gain momentum and have brands reach out then you kind of have to like treat it like and only post your best stuff and yeah, kind of yeah yeah really totally. care about it which some people are like oh it's i don't want to i don't want to care that much it's like well if, if it's your career or not your career you yeah right it's like and a lot of people do like the filler post so yeah in between two really epic shots they have one shot of maybe just a tree or something that's not super cool not mm -hmm. that you can't take the cool photo of a tree yeah, yeah. but i think if you try and make every single post your best work you'll get better way faster than if you try and yeah. um, stagger it and try and save your best photos. Yeah. Just post them and it forces you to go out and shoot and Definitely. create even better ones. Yeah, that's a good thought. Cool, man. Yeah. Okay, I gotta catch a flight and yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll see you back home at some point. Yeah, sounds good.